chewing gum releases lots of microplastics, even if it's natural chewing gum. Hey, I'm Beatrice and the Anti-Plastic Lady. Let's talk about natural and synthetic gum and why both of them had pretty similar amounts of microplastics. There was a study just last year where they found that women that used chewing gum had higher amounts of microplastics in their body, and they did not delineate between natural or synthetic chewing gum. So we've always known that synthetic gum, yeah, like it has plastic because it's literally one of the ingredients. There's this weird loophole that exists that the FDA says you can't explicitly have plastic as an ingredient in any sort of food, right? That's gross. However, it allows chewing gum base, and one of the ingredients that's allowed in chewing gum base is polyethylene as well as some other kinds. It looks like natural gums also have lots of microplastics. I dug into the study and honestly it kind of makes sense. Natural gum comes from a gum tree, right? It has an ingredient called chicle. However, the amount of steps it takes to get from the tree to that little pack that you buy in the checkout line at Target, that's a lot of steps. And as you may have heard me say in some other videos, the more processed an item is, the more microplastics it has. You also have to remember that every single one of those other ingredients is also highly processed. There's countless steps within the processing and production where that gum could have gotten microplastics. And FYI, microplastics are really bad for you. They give you an increased risk of heart attack, stroke, other cardiovascular issues, and lots of different types of cancer. In natural gums, polyolefins were the most abundant, which accounted for about 50% of the identified particles. Polyolefins, well, those are used in food packaging. So perhaps like these original ingredients, they get packaged in plastic with polyolefins, which then, which then leach into that raw ingredient, not sure. Synthetic gums mostly consist of petrochemical products, including synthetic rubber, polyvinyl acetate, which is the plastic that's used in laundry pods, which is also really bad and have started showing up in lots of parts of our body. However, the polystyrene was definitely from some type of synthetic rubber base that was an actual ingredient in the gum. So disgusting. A lot of people are gonna wonder what types of natural gum were actually tested. And even though they didn't list any names, they did list the ingredients and a 10 second Google search showed you which brands they were. So they tested Simply Gum, Glee Gum, The Humble Co, Spry Xylitol Gum, and Tree Hugger Real Chicle Gum. They were able to ascertain that this could lead to tens of thousands of microplastics every single year that may potentially build up in someone's stomach. Both gum base, whether it's natural or synthetic, is highly processed, as are all the other ingredients in gum because they're made the exact same way with most of the same ingredients. In general, if you're trying to freshen your breath, use a mouthwash or just rinse your mouth out with water 